we're testing uh, the DCC. I have uh, a DB150 hooked up, which is hooked up to this PSX4. I have the LEDs. The yellow here is power available. The orange here is track power. The pink is not lit, so it's working. The power comes out of PSX. Follows up this way. To under all this mess. Follows over here to DB168, which is working. You see the heartbeat light. It's powered by a DC bus I've uh, begun. That's going to power uh, all three of my DB168s, which is powered by a 12 volt power supply, which is not yet mounted. But it will be. And then on the track, because the DB168 is, is hooked up and we went through two different um, zones, we had to make a cut in the track down on this end because that is the power zone and a cut down on this end. Once we got that going, well, you'll be surprised how many mistakes you find as you're building. So this is the newest guinea pig. It's a Kato INM uh, Rail Link SD45. Was it 40? Yeah. Okay. Ken's is SD40 the know-it-all and so we are going through the helix this is all in DCC this time it's the first can I get some applause Hooray. and uh, this is a W4 it's it'll make it as I mentioned, the uh, yard tracks are mostly in. The diesel house is built. Needs some uh, some work on it still before we uh, put the track into it. The mine spurs are in, and then. We also have the spurs for the, uh, the salvage yard and the back shop, which Ken is building, by the way, so expertly. And so far, this engine has made it around, uh, what, four or five times? Yeah. Yeah. Next up, the top of the peninsula. And yet more of these wonderful tortoises. There'll be 55 in total. Mm -hmm.